This is one of the tests with a circuit breaker. This is AC rated 230 volts. Um, and I switched DC with it. So, done something similar a few years ago and the smoke came out. Oops, hang on. I want to open the device up and uh, clamp it and see how the arc develops across the contacts and uh, well, open and close the device a few times and see how it's uh, gonna perform. Stay tuned. Try to drill the rivets out. See if we can decase the device. I think they're spinning. Bigger drill. I did manage to get the uh, rivets out, a bit of fiddling. Now we'll see if we can open this thing without it exploding into a million pieces. Probably designed, I don't know how they put this together, but it's going to be difficult, I'm pretty sure. Not going to be that easy to get rid of this plastic thing here. Done like that. Okay, a bit of pausing. I finally, hopefully, got some luck. I managed to open it up. A little bit of force. Now the ground reveal, and we got the lid off. Hooray, that's good. I'm happy. Now, the thing is, everything's still in place. Oh, I got the latching, it's not working. So let's have a look inside first. We got all this equipment in here. Um, that's the current call. This is the arcing chute. Uh, I think that's the bare metallic strip. You can contacts and you toggle. Let's go and have a look um, how it works. That's the main contact here, I think. But where is the other thing? Well, I think I screwed it up. Something popped out of it. Um, these things... I don't, I don't even know how to assemble these bikers, but... Uh, um, I don't think we have the luck of seeing an open biker. You can get see... I've never seen uh, see-through ones in the shop. I'm gonna see if I can burn one out. It's annoying. Annoying. I have to cut a hole in the middle somewhere, see, uh, that arc chute, I don't know why the hell they got that in there, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. I thought uh, the contacts were flying across here, but it doesn't... Oh, it quenches probably an arc breaking across there, yeah, that's probably what it happens. So you have an inductive load, you get an arc across the contacts, and you get a multi-arc gap, some, something like that. Yeah. Well, I stuffed that one up, but I've got another breaker, which is the same, 6 ampere. And what I'm planning to do is uh, contact this, uh, make a little gap in the plastic here, and maybe across the arc chute, and uh, open it up, see if I can do that. And just a couple of viewing windows like this, and keep the breaker intact. Well, i got the for your viewing for the leisure the arc chute, and contacts, there's a little plastic toggle there as well which disappeared on the other switch and uh, I'm gonna put this to an AC, subject to an AC test and a DC test and we'll see how that's gonna perform. Okay, set up here, test rig, breaker, standard 4.6 kilowatt load bank and uh, we're gonna test it with AC. Let's first 
first let's first see a few events. Pretty good, about 25 on pair. It's already gone out on the biometallic. Oh there we go. Nice green arc. So the biometallic has kicked in. It's an only six amp breaker. Biometallic surface does his best. Quickly, I'll show you the load. About 24 ampere. Same, same on the CT meter. And the horror meter. The KWH meter. It's faster in here, so the mains will go from uh, uh, 240 to 325. So it's DC, rectified DC. I'm going to put a lot more stress on the components. Let's capture, see what happens. Unjust device. Unjust device. Give another shot, camera is closer. Unjust device. Unjust device. The capacitor may have some load on it. Yeah, a little charge there. Nothing there. Switch is closed. And adjust device. This carbonized quite a bit. The arc chute hasn't done too much, but it's only a 6 amp breaker. Probably more applicable for bigger ones. Okay, I'm going to subject it to a few tests. Biometallic is doing its job. Oh, that was good. There you go, five shots, and the thing has cooked carbon in there. Let it cool down a bit, and I'll give it another shot, see if it still does. Oh, oh, oh wow. There you go, with your DC fire. Beautiful. The Energize device. Uh, contacts have gone up in circuit. Make it one more shot. Ooh, smells. The capacitor charge still. Give one more shot, see what happens. Energize device. And the contacts are fused. The energized device that don't stick the whole house off. <coughs> yeah, it's the end of the breaker. That didn't. Uh, it's not designed for DC. I think the experiment was still successful. I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, it's gone limp. On limp. DC is violent. To give it up a shot, see if anything happens. And adjust the Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Put the camera out of way a little bit further. And 
jaws again. Oh, this is a firecracker. Beautiful. I'm just going to get the high speed cam out of here. He's uncontrolled. Superheated within. Never forget, experimenting with electricity, always unplug safety first. What the heck, one more shot, we can't do that. Ready to roll. Come on, make it lower fountain. Oh yeah, ah, no more sparkles, and it has gone open circuit, thanks for watching. Capacitors, that we've got a light on there, they're still charging that capacitor, so I need to discharge that carefully. Um, well and totally cooked inside, all carbonized, cool, ah, ready for the tip. <laughs> Yeah, melted bubble of metal, copper poly, or whatever. DC arcs are vicious. <laughs>